Okay, so I'm going to get you up and running today with Wii U through RetroBat. It's one um, people seem to be struggling with. So I've investigated this one myself, and it's actually very easy to do. Obviously, you need a copy of one of your games. I've ripped my Star Fox Zero game, which is likely one of the best Wii U games there is. And it's all how this has never been ported to the Switch, but there you go. So from here, what I'm going to do is I've got back GUI on my desktop. But I'm going to show you how to get to this. So if you just right click on your retro bat shortcut and go to open file location, you'll find bat GUI inside. If you just open this one up as so and go into system list once this windows opens go to system and from here if you just scroll down to wii u and open this up the extensions part is where we need to look just here so each one of these is likely what your game is going to have for example star fox zero dot iso star fox zero dot rpx etc so you need your game ending with one of these extensions so in my case star fox zero is a .rpx file as you can see so if you've got an rpx file which is the one i recommend you uh, burning from your disk make sure you choose the method to get that in the rpx so what you need to do is actually rename that rpx if i was just load this up with retrobat it will just give you a random code and that's no good we want a name so we can also get some artwork so to do this you're going to go into your folder and then into the codes folder and in here the one you need to rename is the .rpx so to do this you just right click on the .rpx file and i'm running windows 11 so show more options and you just rename it now i've already done this one but just make sure you delete the series of numbers and letters but keep the .rpx intact and obviously just rename it to whatever your game is, what you're going to be using. So that's that part done. Now, the next thing you need to do once you rename this is actually drag your game folder into your ROMs directory and obviously put it into the Wii U folder. So I'm going to just drag this inside. So as we can see, I've got my Star Fox Zero and inside that another Star Fox Zero. And in code, this is the one which Retrobat is going to run from. So let's shut all this down for now and go into Retrobat. So we're in Retrobat and obviously we got the Wii U icon up here. If we just go into that, we can now see Star Fox Zero rather than some random files with random letters and names. So first of all, we need to install the emulator itself. So if you just open this up. And the emulator for Wii U is obviously Semu. Let's install this now, so press yes. This will install and it should boot straight up into your game. And there we go. Now just remember that you're going to need something uh, substantial to support this. So if you're running a lower end computer with a weak processor or a weak graphics card, then it's going to be very laggy. So there we go, you up and running with Wii U. And I've turned the sound down on this just for this tutorial, but always working well. So everything's running well, as we can see. If we just back out of this and go back into RetroBat, from here, I'm just going to press select on my controller, view options in advanced system options. And this is where we can manipulate things such as the screen resolution that your uh, screen supports. Underneath visual rendering, you're going to have many different features here, upscale filter. So again, depending on how strong your specs are on your computer, some of these might hinder the performance, whereas some of it might look good as well with support your hardware. So I'm going to go for bilinear because that's a good upscaling filter to have. Now, say for example, some of your games don't work, they don't boot. Try going under drivers, under video, and swapping it to something like Vulkan. Uh, by default, when you keep it on auto, it's going to select OpenGL. But like I said, just in case games don't boot, then just select Vulkan on this one. 
And if we go down a vertical sync and put that onto yes, because that's going to eliminate any screen tear during our gameplay. And underneath this one, we got game aspect ratio. So we've got a couple of options there to choose from. And that's about it. And then obviously you're going to want to scrape the artwork for your Wii U game or Wii U game. So just go into main menu, scraper and scrape it. And from here, we can go to game settings, update game list, and yes. And there we go. So let's just go back into this again. Now we got artwork for it. So that's it. So that's another RetroBat setup guide for you for my little collection. In fact, my playlist of RetroBat videos. So obviously I'm on Facebook, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Instagram, and I'm on TikTok. So until next time, you stay retro.